What's going on, champs and champheads? It's Fire Monkey here, everyone's favorite Fortnite yapper who yaps about everything going on with the game. And in today's YouTube video, we got to talk about a very controversial change that has recently happened to the game, and what Epic Games publicly stated regarding this change about how they want to go forwards with everything else. Now, this is something that if you've been on Twitter, at least, this everyone has basically been nonstop arguing back and forth regarding if this is a good change, if this is a bad change, if we should really even care. And it's something that I even technically mentioned in yesterday's YouTube video when we were showcasing all the cosmetics, and that was if you go to your locker right now, rarities are gone. Like, I could go to this skin right here, I can click on Tomato Head, I could hover over any character. Rarities just don't exist anymore. There's no rarities for backblings, pickaxes, gliders, uh, except for, you can see right here, we have the Icon series. No Contral rarities, no Aura rarities, or anything like that, but series are still here, as you can see by this glider, for example, right? So, for example, if we go all the way to the top of our list here, things like Dark series properly show up. Things such as the DC series show up. Things such as Frozen series, our Gaming Legends series, you know, all that type of stuff still show up in the game and you're able to view these with the proper series, but the normal rarities, like common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, all that type of stuff, those are completely gone. And it's been something that has been kind of shocking to see because it's like, you know, even in like your emotes, even in your lobby area, cars, for example, right? You have like the Lamborghini series and stuff still, but other cars just don't have a rarity at all. It feels like these especially are just kind of out there and just kind of this unknown territory where it's like, yeah, it's a car body, but this right here, that's a Lamborghini car body, right? It just feels so odd seeing the old UI of the whole entire series situation there when rarities used to be there as well. But at the exact same time, I don't think this is inherently too bad of a thing. Now, the official statement from Epic Games is that the shop has evolved significantly to support multiple types of cosmetics and items across games, so they're retiring the old Battle Royale-inspired system of colors and tags for cosmetic quality. Different series of cosmetics, such as the Icon series or gaming, Legend series will still be there to help you find your favorite stuff, but the normal rarities are gone. And I've seen a lot of people mention the item shop in particular, you know, not being able to tell what the pricing of a cosmetic would be. Because, for example, if you go into the item shop and we go like all the way up here, actually, where am I trying to go? I'm trying to find. Where, where's the category? I think it's original spot. No, 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 Avatar, yeah. For example, if we go over here to the Katara pack, this is 2,000 V-Bucks, right? I think with a discount it becomes like, actually no, it's still 2,000 regardless, as you can see right there. But this is something that is 2,000 V-Bucks. You get a skin, you get a back bling, and you get a pickaxe. And there's been some people saying, oh, why does this cost 2,000 V-Bucks? When in the past we've had other collaborations like My Hero Academia that had bundles and stuff that included a lot more for a lot less of a price. And they are all saying that, oh, this is is the reason they hid rarities. This is the reason behind it when I don't really think that's the case. Sure, rarities used to be a way to actually fact check the pricing of certain cosmetics here and there, and it was kind of like the one base holder thing going on. So you saw something that was a rare rarity, you knew it was like 1,200 V-Bucks. If you saw something that was uncommon rarity, you knew that was an 800 V-Bucks skin, and that's gone now. So it adds a lot more vague territory to how much a skin should actually be priced, and I do think that, yeah, it could end up with us seeing a lot of cosmetics priced more expensively in the item shop, but it's not something I honestly care about too much, because if we go over here, right, if we go through my cosmetics here, we've had skins that I own that are considered rare or OG, like Galaxy, we have Iconic, we have all those type of skins, we even have, like, Honor Guard right here, we have Wonder, you know, those very exclusive skins that not everyone is able to obtain, and those would have a lower rarity than stuff such as Midas, right? For example, the most recent skin we got is Ascendant Midas, this one is a legendary rarity skin, I'm pretty sure that's the highest rarity, I could be wrong there or whatever else, but this this is the highest rarity of a skin you can have. Meanwhile, things that haven't returned in years because they were a phone exclusive are like epic rarity, right? It's like rarity only really existed in Fortnite at some point in order to be the price gauger for the game, right? In order to help keep the item shop in a steady pace so that if you saw something that was a certain rarity of a cosmetic, you knew what the price was probably going to be from the leaks before it showed up in the item shop. And they've kind of been getting in the vague territory recently where even rare cosmetics are being sold for a higher price than were typically used to, so it's something that I think we just gotta kinda, you know, accept going forwards, but at the exact same time, even if it does affect the pricing of stuff in the item shop, right, 
I actually do kind of understand why they're doing this because this game isn't about just battle royale anymore, right? The whole entire rarity system and everything else was designed around battle royale. But nowadays this is what they're calling internally the Fortnite hub where they're trying to go more of a Roblox route on Roblox. You don't have rarities for cosmetics, right? You have collaborations that happen here and there, but no rarities exist. You just have prices for cosmetics and you can decide if you want to pick them up or not. And you can enjoy them that way. And I really think Fortnite is trying to continue down that creative UEFN rabbit hole of being a new Roblox, a better version of Roblox or whatever else. But and by removing these rarities, it allows them to kind of just exist in their like little plane here, making little updates to their game and then continuing to release new modes like Battle Royale, you know, Rocket Racing, even if we go down here, you know, like Fortnite Festival. And I wouldn't be surprised as, af we, as we get like new game modes added to the game in the future, because apparently they're still going to be working on adding more game modes. If we continue to see more stuff added to the game, you know, more categories over here on the sidebar and everything else that don't really follow the standard rarity sizing, unless it's like a special thing, like an icon series or something like that. So in my opinion, even though there's a lot of controversy regarding cosmetic rarities being removed, I don't really hate it too much. And in fact, the second thing they've mentioned here regarding the item shop is that they're going to be adding in late May 2024 the shop rotation dates for individual cosmetics. And it will be in the description of the cosmetic, right? So for example, if I click on Toph, instead of just seeing, oh, here's Toph, here's the price of it, right? It will also include the exact day that the cosmetic will be leaving the item shop, which is removing FOMO from everything here, right? One thing I feel that definitely increases a lot of people's sales is there's a cosmetic that they're like, I don't know if I want this or not, or I don't know when it's going to leave or whatever else, so I don't know how long I have to debate buying this, but now that we're actually getting the cosmetic item, like individual like removal dates down here, it does feel like they are working on slowly improving the item shop and are working on making this a little bit easier for us to actually navigate navigate so that we can not have like this uh, we basically eliminate FOMO a little bit more right and I think having rarities not actually showing up in the item shop as well is not going to like play as much of a part into FOMO anymore because now you'll be thinking about the cosmetic based on how it looks instead of how it looks and oh is this a legendary cosmetic is this a rare cosmetic nothing of that right you look at the looks of it you look at the price of it and you figure out when it leaves and then you figure out do you want to purchase it before it actually leaves the item shop and I think that's actually a positive change going forwards. Now, I want to see how it actually gets implemented into the shop in the future, but at least as of right now, I think there's a lot of complaints about the whole entire removing of cosmetic color rarities and everything else, but I don't think that it's inherently a bad thing. I think that removing rarities is okay, at least from my standpoint, because I never really cared about the rarities of cosmetics anyways, and it's like sometimes you could have a like uncommon rarity cosmetic that's rarer than a legendary rarity cosmetic, so it's like rarities in Fortnite were never really used for for the rarity of a cosmetic, but instead for the price of a cosmetic anyways. And nowadays, Epic Games, you know, mixes up their pricing so much where you never know what price something should even be in the first place, so I'm not really too phased by the entire situation, and I think that a lot of people are kind of blowing the situation out of perspective. But I'd love to hear in the comments down below, what do you think about this entire situation? I think the worst part, in like all honesty here, is sorting, right? Because now, we don't have the option to sort by rarity. We have sets, A to Z, season, and D, default and there's no rarity sorting anymore and even like with the default sorting right it's a to z except for you know like the special rarities or series up here other than that it's just a to z through your item shop anyways so i don't think that you know it's like inherently a bad thing i just think it's going to be a bad thing for a while for those who are used to those type of sorting systems of having their things sorted by rarity but at the end of the day maybe i'm gonna get flamed in the comments down below for this opinion i'm fine with them removing cosmetic rarities and it sounds like they're making a good change to the item shop in the future. I mean, even in the item shop right now, right? If we go down to jam tracks, which you guys are going to see how I own every single one because I have a problem with spending money. We have this new option available here called view more, which allows you to view every single jam track that they're kind of showcasing right now. It doesn't have all of them, but it literally has 73 jam tracks just sitting right here for you to go ahead and purchase if you want it. And I think that is an amazing change going forwards because it gives more of a rock band esque music store for you to actually use. And I can't wait to see if one day we end up getting all the jam tracks that are currently available in the game in this little store menu. So I really only have high hopes for the future of what's going on with Fortnite right now in terms of the item shop and rarities and everything else, but maybe I'm a little bit on the wrong side of the spectrum. I'll let you guys figure that out in the comments down below, but until next time, yeah. Epic Games removed cosmetic rarities from the game. They're still in the API, they're still in the back end, but they're not being used going forwards. And any new cosmetics released are basically always going to have a back end rarity of rare, regardless of the price they actually have going on for it. So until next time, I'll catch you, champs and champs.
a little bit later with another upload, and peace out.